The sun is out. The kids are playing at the playground after their second day of school and what will be a four-day school week. Optimism and hope fill the air. I'm even wearing one of my favorite t-shirts today. My Irwin Fletch Fletcher t-shirt, which made famous from the Chevy Chase film in the 1980s. I hope this finds you all very well on this St. Patrick's Day. And I think St. Patrick's Day is such a wonderful day of party, isn't it? I mean, outside of uh, the wonderful tradition of missionaries and bringing light to the people in Ireland, bringing the gospel uh, that the, that St. Patrick did, what a day for us to feast and to celebrate. Maybe a little sauerkraut, cabbage, boiled potatoes, and a brisket. That will be in our on our tables tonight before we have evening prayer. And of course, a Guinness. For those that don't know, I've gone gluten free, so I'll drink a cider tonight. But Irish is cider, and I'm more Scotch Irish than I am Irish. Ashley Fitzgerald, my wife, Ashley Logan, is certainly 100% Irish. Optimism, hope, parties are in the air. It's where we are at this time as we've rounded the bend of one year of pandemic. And as we look towards Easter, towards that glorious day where we celebrate the resurrection. And until then, hold tight to the gospel. I cannot wait to see you all. I cannot wait to be with you. Continue to worship with you over Zoom. And then on Easter Sunday, God willing, in our garden at St. Mark's. I'll just offer this prayer. It's a prayer for mission found in our morning prayer service. Lord Jesus Christ, who did stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So clothe us in thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. God bless you.